What is substrate and reagent in organic chemistry? If you're delving into the world of organic chemistry, you might have come across the terms substrate and reagent. Let's break down what these terms mean and how they fit into the bigger picture of chemical reactions. First, let's talk about the substrate. In organic chemistry, a substrate is essentially a reactant that undergoes a chemical change during a reaction. This change is often facilitated by a catalyst or an enzyme. Think of the substrate as the main material that the reaction acts upon. For example, in a reaction involving an enzyme, the substrate is the molecule that the enzyme binds to and transforms into a product. Now let's consider a specific scenario. If you have a molecule like 2-bromopropanin-1-OL and it undergoes a substitution reaction with sodium cyanide, NaCN, the 2-bromopropanin-1-OL acts as the substrate. The bromine in this molecule is replaced by the cyanide group, resulting in a new product. This process can occur through different mechanisms such as SN1 or SN2, depending on the conditions and the structure of the substrate. Moving on to reagents, these are substances used to cause a chemical reaction or to detect the presence of another substance. In organic chemistry, reagents can be small organic molecules, inorganic compounds, or even enzymes and solvents. They are often used to initiate or speed up reactions. For instance, Grignard reagents, Tolan's reagent, and Phalanx reagent are all examples of named reagents that are commonly used in various chemical reactions. To illustrate this, consider the use of a Grignard reagent in a reaction. A Grignard reagent is a type of reagent that reacts with carbonyl compounds to form new carbon-carbon bonds. Here, the Grignard reagent acts as the catalyst or the substance that facilitates the reaction, while the carbonyl compound acts as the substrate that undergoes the chemical change. In summary, the substrate is the molecule that is chemically modified during a reaction, while the reagent is the substance that initiates or facilitates this change. Understanding these roles is crucial for predicting and controlling the outcomes of chemical reactions in organic chemistry. Whether you're dealing with enzyme-catalyzed reactions or synthetic organic chemistry, knowing what substrates and reagents are and how they interact is key to mastering these processes.